To install Unreal Engine, go to unrealengine.com slash download and click on the button labeled Download Launcher. After the download has finished, open up the installer for the Epic Games Launcher. Click on Yes to any prompts that pop up. Once the installation is finished, the Epic Games Launcher should open up on its own. If it doesn't, just look up Epic Games Launcher in your search bar. Right away, you will be asked to sign in. You do need an Epic Games account to proceed. Even if you click on where it says sign in later, you'll just be prompted to sign in again when you want to actually install the engine later on. And all these other ways to sign in will only work if the single sign-in account is connected to an existing Epic Games account. So if you do not have an Epic Games account, go ahead and create one. But if you do have an account though, just sign in. Once you have logged in, you should see the screen. If you do not, make sure that the Unreal Engine tab is selected here on the left side and you should see this button on the top right that says Install Engine. This button will always install the latest version of the engine. If you want an older version, then click on where it says Library, then click this plus button. And right below, you'll see some numbers that you can click on and then select the version of the engine that you want installed. For this video, I'm going to stick with the latest version. Once you know which version you want, click Install. Click Accept on both of these agreements about pricing and licensing. Here you can change the location where the launcher will place the engine files by default when you click on this Browse button. You can also configure through this Options button what you want to install with the engine. I won't go over all of these now, but please check the pinned comment below where I explain each of these options. Once you have finished deciding on where and what to install, click on Install. This could take a while depending on your internet speed, so give the video a like, maybe subscribe, and feel free to pause the video until your engine finishes installing. Right after the engine has finished installing, go back to the News tab on the top left, and you should see this very important pop-up in your launcher about project files not being associated. If you don't see this, then try restarting the Epic Games Launcher by exiting it, and then running it again. If you still don't see this, don't worry because you project files may already be correctly associated with the launcher. Check the pinned comment below for more information, but for those who do see this though, click on the Fix Now button and click on Yes here. Let's actually launch the engine now. Note that if you ever have multiple versions of the engine installed, you can change the version that you launch here. This is the version that I want, so I'm going to click the Launch button. That should have closed the launcher and opened this Unreal Project Browser where we can make a new project from one of Epic's many templates. Make sure that you have games selected here on the left side and I'm going to choose the first person template. Make sure that Blueprint is selected here under the project defaults as I'm not assuming you have any C++ compile tools installed yet. That will be covered in a separate video. Feel free to modify the project location and name and create the project after double checking those. That should have opened up this new project in the Unreal Engine editor where you can edit the game. But for this video, I'm just going to test the game by clicking this green play button to make sure that everything works. Press escape to stop playing the game in the editor. And that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you found it helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on our other social media. Join our Discord server. Support the channel like our higher tier patrons Lucas Moskin and Morgan Heidemann have. And have a good day.